Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entries Anas. This is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create a simple and decent and easy design. And one small request to you, if you didn't subscribe this channel yet, then please subscribe it and hit that like button. And now let's get started. To create this design, you need to add a cube and you need to scale this cube along the Z axis in this way. Then you need to go to the edit mode and you need to add this kind of loop cut. Seven loop cuts are fine. After that, you need to turn on your extra mode and select this border words and extrude them in the respective axis. In this way, so you can create the border around this cube which will support the structure of that cube after adding the sub D modifier. And then you can take the symmetry along the X and Y axis in this way. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and use the loop tool circle option. And now use the insert operation add there, the small insert operation. After that, you need to turn on your extra mode and select these words in this way with the cross selection. Then you can go to the H mode and you can add a small bevel add there in this way. Then select this face loop and then deselect these faces. Then use your cross selection and select this outward faces. After that, extrude these faces along the Z axis in this way. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and scale them along the X and Y axis in this way. And now you need to create this kind of cuts with the help of knife tool. The next thing just scale down these faces in this way along the X and Y axis and then select these faces and use the insert operation add there. And now you need to select this word and use the H slide add there and just give the right position to this word at here in this way. Then select these words and then merge them. You need to select the words and press M and merge at last and you can merge the words in this way. And similar kind of thing you need to repeat at here also. So select the words, use the each slide and just try to give the right position to this words and then select these words and then merge them. That's very simple. And similar kind of thing you need to repeat from the bottom side also. You need to create the same structure to the bottom side. So select the words and merge them. Then you can select these faces and use the loop tool circle option. After that you can turn on your extra mode and select these words and then you need to move these words along the X axis and try to give the position at the center of the X axis means parallel to the Y axis. And then you can select this word and use the H slide add there in this way. That looks nice and same thing you need to repeat at here also. You need to select the words and just move them along the Y axis means at the center of the y axis and parallel to the x axis. Am I right? I think so. And then you can add support to loop cuts at here to maintain the form. And hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Then you can add more support to loop cuts to maintain that form. Now you can see design looks really well. Why do I create this kind of design? This is one of the detail from the big model. Once you are able to create this kind of small small details, then easily you can create big models also. But if you are going to start to create big models at the first stage, it will take your time, hell lots of your time and it's like a lengthy process. Then you can select these faces and you can get some details at there by moving and extruding the faces. It's very simple. Then you can add this kind of loop cuts and then you can select these faces and then use the insert operation add there. So press I for the insert operation and then right click use the loop tool circle option and then turn on your individual origin pivot point and then adjust the scale and then create a simple circular boolean details add there by using the insert operation and then moving this along the Z axis and easily you can create this kind of boolean details. Then just adjust the proportion of the model by moving these words and just create a simple looking details add there. Then I'm going to use my kit bash nuts and bolts volume 1 to add more details at there. You can get this kit bash on our Gumroad store, link is in the description. Or you can create your own kit bash, that's also fine. Just add few nuts and bolts details, so our design will look decent. Just that looks really well. So there you go, in this way you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today, thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye, see so you in the next video, take care. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small
small